If you are interested in ways to increase loyalty and customer retention at a dealership, you're at the right place. This is a presentation we just did last week at David Kane's uh, Friends and Clients Conference up in Kentucky, and a handful of people reached out wanting to see it, so I thought I'd just record a quick overview. The gist is the customers are leaving our dealerships and not returning because we're not asking them to stay. This is the way to unlock that, doing paid social who to say, what to, uh, and then the gist is just like, if we can retain customers coming back to our dealerships and shopping again, this is looking like it's increasing profitability at stores 25 to 85%. And according to NADA, if uh, the 86% of customers who are coming back to the dealership for routine services uh, and, and doing continued business with the dealership will end up repurchasing. 86%. So here's the way for us to unlock our fixed ops, service parts to keep people coming back. However, only 29% of people who shop at our dealerships are doing routine services on average. This is the breakdown. So this is simply just with loyalty after people purchase. So there's all kinds of ways to get people to uh, purchase and everyone's really focused on getting new customers but here's a way for us to own our customer database. So as soon as somebody purchases within the first 90 days, I want them to receive a message immediately, but then especially over the first 90 days, simply saying, thank you. Thank you for shopping with us. And it's gonna be ideally a testimonial or a, or a video of the dealer and some of the staff just saying thanks. At the same time, we're asking those people for referrals. This is how we grow our business. We employ uh, the local community, friends, neighbors, family, come back to our store. And then after 90 days, we start introducing parts. You know, this is where you pick up a truck, spray in bed liner, things like that, where I start to able to pull people back in to the parts department, and then especially on the service department side. If somebody is come by, and especially if they're not doing routine services with the store, they should be getting offers. They should be getting uh, notified through their news feed, through their stories and their email to come in uh, for routine services. And then after a few years, get in front of them with trade up opportunities with the new models uh, and then especially buy back. So there, there's a way for a small audience for us to really start to nurture loyalty. An ad could look like this on the right, just saying, hey, we wanna buy your Ford because of market conditions. Your escape's never been worth more. And now that ad is really prescriptive to the customer. And that makes sense. And just some thumb stopping creative that takes up space and calls them out for what we already know about the customer. That they know who we are as a dealership and we know they're still driving that forward. And um, we can have that thumb stopping creative. And then here's just a breakdown of this dealership's creative. We should have all different kinds of creative where depending on the customer's relationship with our store, do they know about our dealership or do they just buy a car from our dealership? Like if they don't know about us, that's where we need to get in front of them with branding, introduce them to our store and why customers like us and why they choose to buy from us, where if they just purchased from us, they should be receiving a thank you. And so this is just a lot of different creative all going on at the same time based on customers' relationship with the store. And for just the loyalty piece, like we're not talking about prospecting or anything, to have it broken down into se separate categories based on how long ago they purchased, uh, what they purchased, and with all of this customer data from uh, uh, the CRM, it's a relatively small audience. This one's relatively big, 21,000 people but we're not needing to put $10,000 into this. With a small ad spend of $1,200, we can get in front of all of our past customers always, just continuously. Like as soon as somebody purchases, they should always be in an ad campaign. This one's spending just 1,200 bucks a month. And the, according to Facebook, 78% of people only see one type of ad. Here's a way to have a bunch of different types of ads that are relevant to customers and will stand out in a market that's just squished with the same two carousel ads, you'll stand out with all of the consumers. Thanks, hope this is helpful.